you a culture, baby. Be bold, live big. Hey, y'all. Guess what? Episode three. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here i'm excited i don't care it's just three it's like not three thousand but i'm so grateful thank you so much for being here hola namaste shalom konnichiwa i say hello in different languages because we have fans around the world um today's message is something that i i was thinking about myself usually when i give a, a um when i when i speak about something it's because i've gone through it or i'm going through it myself so today's episode is you can yes you can yes you can I, t I titled it that because a lot of times we go through stuff we have adversities things that we didn't think that we can make it through things that we thought literally we were gonna die like while we were going through it if you look back over your life at the things that you've overcome you'll see how many things that you got through like you thought literally would end your life couldn't make it through you can't you can't breathe you can't think straight you can't work your children are being neglected for a little while because you just you're out of your mind you're out of your spirit it just hurts you so bad and I want to remind you that you can do it you always got through that every single thing that you got through that this too shall pass right now you might be going through something and you're thinking how how else do you get through it how did you get through everything else that you've been through in your life you got through it because you go through it. It's the going through that makes you stronger each time. You, you went through that adversity and you had to get through it alone. You have friends and family around that may help you through it, give you a good word. But eventually, ultimately, you're the one who has to actually step through that door. You're the one who has to pick the pieces up of your life and put them back together or figure out something else. And so I'm here to tell you, remind you that, yeah, you got through all those other things. 100% of those things that were supposed to stop you or end your life or end you, you got through them. You're fucking intelligent. You're powerful as all get out. I'm here to remind you of that. You can do it. You are doing it. Yeah. Those things that you got through only gave you your strength. It reminded you of who you are. You found your strength when you went through all that stuff. You found out what you're capable of. Like, oh my God, I did get through that. And then I got through that thing. And then that happened and this happened and that fell apart. And then I picked up the pieces and something better came of that. You get stronger each time you go through something. That's just the way life is. It's fucked up. <laughs> it's crazy that we have to go through things, but we're here to be reminded of who we are. We're here because we have to be powerful. We're here to remember our power. The darkness comes to remind you that there's light, that you are the light. Okay, we are, our Father is God Almighty, and you are part of God because of that. That is our Father. Like, we are God. Our na nature is God, okay? Our presence is God. And we are capable of getting through everything, every adversity. I don't care what it is. We've, we've seen stories of people who literally lost their whole family. I was just watching an NDE. I watch like near-death experiences all the time because those people remind me like, okay, there is something after this and that we continue on. And so I watch a lot of the stories and one guy fell asleep at the wheel with his whole family in the car. He was driving, two kids in the back seat, his wife in the, in the passenger seat. And he fell asleep at the wheel. He had the, um, he had the cruise control on and he nodded out. When he woke up, he overcorrected. The car flipped like six times. His wife was instantly killed and his son in the back, his uh, youngest son, who was a few months old, died as well. And then his seven-year-old son was the one who, who lived. And so he had to figure out how to live for his son. He lost his left leg. He um, had internal injuries that he had to overcome. I mean, you're talking about literally, how do you live through that? How do we do it? because we're powerful enough to do it, that's how. Be proud of the things that you've conquered and remember you are a warrior. You are a warrior, fucking warrior. <laughs> that's real. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me. I hope this message was good for you today. Something that you can actually use. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I keep forgetting to say that. It's gonna become natural. 
but please uh, subscribe to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome if you're new here. Um, and thank you to those who have subscribed already. I love you. I thank you so much. Mwah. See you next time.